So in this video, we're going to be setting up and configuring Babel. Uh, if you're not familiar with Babel, is it's a tool that allows us to, uh, in their own words, use the next generation JavaScript today. So we can write future JavaScript that the browsers don't technically understand quite yet, and Babel will transpile it down into a, a version of JavaScript that the browsers do understand. So if you come to their website, babeljs.io, click on the Setup tab, and under Build Systems, click on a Webpack. And they make it super easy to get things set up and installed. So if you click on this Copy button, this will copy this command here. So if you come to our terminal, let's install Babel Loader and Babel Core. And then we're going to come back here. And then there's this copy function to when it says here the via config, this is our webpack config. So if you come back here into our text editor, and what we need to do now, so this is getting into the concept of loaders, which we uh, briefly went over in one of the earlier videos. So essentially what a loader is, uh, again, is a loader is telling jo um, Babel, when you come across a specific file, use this loader in order to process it. So in this case, we need to set up this Babel loader, which we just installed, and we need to tell Webpack, every time you come across a JavaScript file, run it through the Babel loader, so that way Babel's going to parse all of our JavaScript. So underneath the dev server, we can create this module key, and within it we create this rules. Actually, let's see what I, maybe they might have already given it to us. Yeah, they did. So we don't actually need to create this module from scratch. It's already in the, uh, remember I just copied it from the, right here. So if we come back, um, essentially what this is saying are, it's creating some rules and it's telling JavaScript, or I'm sorry, Webpack, that every time you come across this a .js file, so this is just a regular expression, and this test key is saying, Webpack, every time you come across a .js extension or a file with a .js extension, run it through this loader, Babel loader. And you know, and in fact, let me uh, put this on separate lines so it's a little easier for us to read. Cool. So anything with the .js extension, run through the Babel loader. And this exclude is saying don't process any JavaScript files located within the node underscore modules folder. And then just one more quick thing. We've got to install this. This is the Babel preset env. Come back here, paste that into our terminal. Don't think the copy worked. Let's try it again. Okay. <laughs> copy and paste is working. Let's try it manually. Copy. Come back. All right, cool. So essentially what this is doing is this is a file that tells, uh, it just gives a set of instructions on Babel on how to process the JavaScript files. And so you can install different configurations and different presets if you want certain versions of JavaScript processed a different way, or if you're targeting really old browsers or you're only targeting new browsers. Uh, but for the most part, this is the best way, and it covers th like the vast majority of use cases. So the final thing we need to do is create this .babelrc file and then paste in this little snippet down here. Come back to our code editor. Um, I've already got one here, so we need to create this .babelrc file, and then we're just going to paste in presets, babel preset env. Um, so now... If we come back to our index.js file, uh, I am just going to write in a simple um, arrow function, and we'll see how Babel processes it. So I'm just going to do const foo equals name, and I'm just going to console.log simple. We we'll use string interpolation. We'll do uh, name. So let's invoke it and pass in my name. Cool. So this is a very basic 
uh, arrow function it just takes in a name and it's console logging with string interpolation hello name then I invoke it foo and then I pass in my name here let's come back to our terminal and run npm run build okay let's go back to text editor and then in our disk folder bundle.js so you can see in our index file we've got this arrow function we've got string interpolation this is like quote unquote more modern JavaScript but if you look at what's being output in our bundle you'll see that it's doing hello and then it's doing this dot concat name um, so it's this is what Babel does Babel is going to uh, this isn't necessarily the greatest example but it's just a quick example so as you're writing like future JavaScript with the latest syntax Babel is going to automatically transpile it down into an, a quote-unquote older version of uh, JavaScript or a version that the browsers better understand so that way you can write the latest and greatest JavaScript today and make sure that it works in you know Chrome Firefox and you can even do it down to like Internet Explorer 11 or probably even easier earlier versions if you needed to um, so that pretty much wraps up this video um, in the next video we're going to be going over how to work with CSS SCSS and how to set up and install the loaders for it.